When he came out of surgery, I mean, we didn't realize that we had the sight problem. And uh, we didn't realize that for, you know, three or four days afterwards. And of course that, when they took him down, you know, and did the MRI and found that he had had a stroke during the surgery and that it had got his eyesight. The first thing that I personally thought of, it didn't get his body. You know, we, we can deal with this. And I said to him, sweetheart, we'll make it. We have. Well, for uh, several months, as I say, I couldn't see anything to mount anything and gradually uh, come back a little bit and I'd went to, to my doctor, I'd went to Dean McGee and after about uh, six months I asked uh, Dr. Dean McGee, I said, well, what do you think my chances are? And he said, well, he said, barring a miracle, I'd say slim to none of you gaining any more than what you've got. New View, Oklahoma provides specialized services for people who are losing their vision or lost their vision. Really, our services are about empowering people who are blind or visually impaired to achieve their maximum level of independence. And now, most of the services that we provide are for our senior population. A lot of times they'd get the diagnosis that there was nothing to be done, that they didn't think that they could improve them through medical treatment or through optical treatment. Well, the, the senior would give up and think that there was no hope. And a lot of times this would lead to them leaving their homes, going into nursing home care because they couldn't take care of themselves. We worked with some special lenses called yoked prisms. These lenses help in order to reorient the visual system. And we put them on and after several different tries of different powers and different directions, we found a direction that worked best for him. It's been a happy marriage. We've always enjoyed one another, had a lot of fun. We've done everything together. And now we're really doing it together 24 seven. But I say the biggest thing that hit me when they told me I'd had a stroke was the fact I can't drive. When you tell grandpa we're gonna have to take your keys away, uh, that's kicking him right in the butt. Then they sent Anita out here and uh, Anita Miller is a wonderful therapist. We look forward to Anita coming out here every Monday just for what little things that she could show us and pick up that was, I mean, the stuff was here, the knowledge was here, but we just didn't know it. New View has helped us extremely. Number one, they've put tape on my floor which I told Anita she could tape the house up if it help him. And she has made it where he can use the microwave better. He can use the keyboard on the computer better. He walks a little bit straighter. He sits up a little bit straighter. He can get from point A to point B without veering off to the right, because that's what he tended to do before he got the new lenses. And so that helps him as he's working around his ranch and being able to get around in his house. One of the goals of New View is to make it where people can continue to do what they need to do day by day. Not only do they get the best vision they can have, they get the best vision function. By sending the occupational therapist to their homes to evaluate their lighting, to make sure that things are set up safely, that all the things they want to do, they have the best um, setup to do them in, we end up keeping people in their homes longer. It gives me the chance to give them a little bit of hope because a lot of the times the doctors will tell them there's nothing else that I can do for you. And oftentimes what they mean is there's nothing else medically or surgically that I can do for you. But what they don't realize is that there's still a lot of adaptations and changes that one can make in their life in order to adjust to the changes that they've had in their vision. The economic impact of vision loss in Oklahoma is over $800 million a year, and most of that is related to senior care. Told that it wasn't just straight blindness, that it was had something to do with the brain in there, which makes you feel a little bit better than just thinking you're about half crazy 
along with being blind. First of all, I would say place it in God's hands and then go to New View. You wouldn't want to go to New View if you already have it in your mind that they can't help me. But if you go with an open mind and listen to what they have to say and agree to do the things they want you to do, New View can help you.